Hello, the purpose of this video is to instruct on how to bench test a HCI model 241 split beam digital echo sounder using the internal calibrator inside the echo sounder to transmit data to a laptop computer without having to hook up a transducer um, outside in the water. You can do this whole test right here on our desk and make sure that we are up and running with our echo sounder. Uh, just to start out, we have uh, our echo sounder here, which is powered by this AC-DC power supply. Um, if I turn the echo sounder around, you can see that the power supply hooks into the echo sounder right here. And right next to that, we have our power on-off switch, which I will go ahead and flip up to turn on the echo sounder. Now, this echo sounder will take just a minute to load up. And once this gets loaded up, I'll explain some of these lights that, that will come on here. We begin to see activity here. We now see that our sync light and our trigger lights are flashing. And we hear that ascending beep sound. Uh, after we get these three things, those lights and the beep sound, uh, we know that the echo sounder is on and ready to go. So we go uh, to our laptop and we're going to open up our DEP software right here with this icon. We are connected um, from the echo sounder to the laptop with a standard ethernet uh, or network cable right here. Once our software is open uh, the first step we want to do is to open a configuration file which contains all the settings uh, needed to run this Caltone test. We do this by clicking configuration, open, navigating to the file that we want to use. In this case, we're going to use this Echoes Caltone test 200 kilohertz file because as we can see on the front of our echo sounder right here, this is a 200 kilohertz echo sounder. So we open that file. Next we want to open our view file by going view, open, and selecting the right file. In this case Echoes Caltone test view file. This view file contains information uh, on the display of the program um, showing us all the windows uh, that we want to have for this file. Um, the view file can be changed and saved uh, with, ever, with whatever current settings you, you've got configured on your program. Once we have these two files open, uh, we want to go to Command DES Connection and verify right here that this serial number we have inputted in this window matches the serial number right here on the front of our echo sounder. In this case, we are matching uh, DES2318940, so we click OK. Next we go Command and click Connect to DES. And when we do this, we see right down here in our system, stat system status window that uh, it says we are connected right there in red. Now that we are connected, um, we will go command start processing. Um, this command can also be completed with this toggle uh, button right here. Either way, we'll do the same thing. I will click the toggle button to begin processing. And as I do that, I see down here in system status that saving data is now yes, processing is now yes. Our ping rate right here is ascending, and we are recording live statistics down here. In our echogram window, we begin to see our data uh, coming horizontally across the screen. In our 2D plot, we see our data here, and in our echoscope, we see these vertical lines. <clears throat> to get a sense of some of the settings we have from our configuration file, we can go up here to the menu, Sampling Plan, Sequence Summary, and we see 
right here, uh, first of all, that our ping rate is set to five. That means we're pinging five times per second. This is the rate of our sync and trigger lights. They're flashing at the same rate as we are pinging, uh, which is five times per second. Now that I'm transmitting data, you see this DEP monitor light flashing at the same rate as sync and trigger. Uh, this light indicates that the data from the calibrator inside the echo sounder is being digitized and is being sent out to the laptop, which is what we want to have happen. We can also see our settings for intervals right here, uh, which is set to 0 0.20. That means it's 0 0.20 of one minute, or equivalent to roughly 10, uh, 11 seconds or so. This beep we hear from the echo sounder Here, that beep uh, indicates that one sequence ends and another one has begun. Uh, so that beep will um, sound uh, once every 0.2 minutes or 10, 11 seconds or so. Just to give you a sense of what our settings are doing in the program. Now that we've verified that our echo sounder is, uh, is transmitting data via its internal calibrator successfully to our laptop, um, we can go to command and toggle off our start processing so we are no longer processing uh, as is displayed down here in our system status window processing and saving data has been turned off and that completes the video we've uh, shown you how to bench test uh, HTI model 241 split beam digital echo sounder using the internal calibrator without the need of hooking up a transducer underwater.